This one might require more bacon than usual. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious Ron Swanson moments. I'm gonna type every word I know. Rectangle, America, Megaphone, Monday, Butthole. If you're a fan of Parks and Rec, check out Ms. Mojo's list of the top 10 most hilarious bloopers on Parks and Recreation to watch some of the show's funniest behind the scenes moments. Click on the link below. For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest scenes from Parks and Recreation involving Ronald Ulysses Swanson. If you're not up to date, a spoiler alert is probably in order. You ready? I was born ready. I'm Ron Swanson. Number 10. Ron throws out his computer. Ron values his privacy and the simple things in life. He's also resistant to change, especially when it comes to the ever-evolving evil that is technology. Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. In this cold open, Ron goes online to make a purchase, but makes a shocking discovery instead. My question is, what the hell? Seeing his name in a pop-up ad, Ron realizes that his computer can learn information about him. The tech-savvy April further pulls back the veil, instructing Ron to type his address into Google Earth. Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. In one of the show's funniest edits ever, we then cut to Ron tossing his computer into a dumpster. Number nine, Ron knows more than you. Andrew, are you aware that your bathroom faucet is leaking? Fixing up a house. Now that's Ron's idea of a party. When Andy and April throw a Halloween bash, Ron seizes the opportunity to do a little handiwork for them. Do you have a toolbox? This requires a trip to Lowe's, where a friendly employee offers his services. Hey there, is there a project you're working on? Ron could easily just tell the employee that he doesn't need any help. Instead, he matter-of-factly delivers this hysterical one-liner. I know more than you. All right. The only thing more priceless than the line itself is the employee's bemused reaction. Ron might not be the most social guy, but what he lacks in that department, he more than makes up for in home improvement skills. It's a good feeling. Sense of accomplishment and pride. Damn it, I just love it so much. Number eight, Ron eats a banana. After Ron catches an illness from his girlfriend's kids and finally convinces him to get an overdue medical exam. I'm a grown man. I have had a cold before. I need no help. So if you don't mind. As you might expect, Ron isn't the best patient. How many drinks of alcohol do you consume a week? One. That's it? One drink? One shelf. He has a hilarious response for each of Anne's questions, most notably declaring yoga to be a mental illness. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I have an uncle who does yoga. Despite having a diet that primarily consists of meat and alcohol, Ron is in almost perfect health. Since his potassium is low, though, he reluctantly eats a banana for the sake of his loved ones. Of course, this proves easier said than done. The only way Ron can stomach the healthy fruit is if it's served on a greasy paunch burger. We guess that's a fair compromise? <clears throat> Number seven, Ron on vegan bacon. Bacon is to Ron Swanson what government is to Leslie Nope. I buy my burger ingredients at Food and Stuff, a discount food outlet equidistant from my home and my work. Ron is deeply passionate about this pork product and red meat in general. At a health food store, Ron is dismayed to find a clerk giving out vegan bacon samples. Yes, please. Ron asks for a piece of the meatless substitute, but throws it out with no explanation. He then asks for another, only to repeat the action. Is there a problem? I'm just making sure no one ever has to eat this. Ron clarifies that he's not only personally against vegan bacon, but committed to stopping anyone from eating it. April naturally gets in on the trolling. It's another shining example of this unlikely dynamic duo working together, usually to the discomfort of others and to the amusement of us. Anything else? Nope, just the crows and the beef. Number six, Ron's Pyramid of Greatness. Behold, the Swanson Pyramid of Greatness. To describe Ron Swanson as manly would be a serious understatement. This guy makes gladiators look like little boys. While coaching a youth basketball game, Ron shares the secret of his success through the Swanson Pyramid of Greatness. K 
categories include capitalism, God's way of determining who is smart and who is poor. The pyramid consists of several categories, including America, haircuts, and animal proteins. Oh, don't forget about the dangers of skim milk. Honor most notably sits at the top of the pyramid, accompanied by the words, quote, if you need it to find, you don't have it. This scene epitomizes pretty much everything about Ron Swanson and delivers clear instructions on how you too can be like him. Haircuts. There are three acceptable haircuts. High and tight, crew cut, buzz cut. Are the scissors broken in your house, son? Number five, Ron has a hernia. I have a hernia. I've had it for a while and I've been ignoring it successfully. As a fiercely independent individual, Ron doesn't like asking others for help, even when his health is in jeopardy. After a sneeze puts a strain on his hernia, Ron finds himself immobile in his chair. Rather than addressing the elephant in the room, he decides to just wait it out. Unfortunately, Ron is unable to eat his lunch, turn on the lights, or leave the building. In a rare compromise, he finally allows April to take him to the hospital. Do you need a ride to the hospital? Yes, please. You gotta hand it to Ron. Even when he's in unspeakable pain, the guy maintains a straight face, and that deadpan expression never fails to make us smile. Number four, Ron remarries Tammy too. My ex-wife Tammy likes to check in every so often and make sure I'm doing okay. And if I am, she tries to f everything up. Although he usually maintains a stern, disciplined attitude, Ron loses control in the presence of his second ex-wife Tammy too. Using her sexuality as a weapon, Tammy lives to make her ex-husband miserable. This leads to a crazy night where the two get remarried and wind up behind bars. Snap out of it! Leslie, <laughs> congratulate us. The image of Ron Swanson with cornrows and a reverse Hitler mustache is more than enough to solidify this moment as a classic. Of course, what makes this especially hilarious is that Nick Offerman and Megan Mullally are actually married in real life. Tammy and I are in love, and we're gonna start a family together. <laughs> it's safe to say their relationship is likely much more functional off-screen, but hopefully no less fun. It's been kind of a crazy night. Number three, Ron pulls his tooth. You okay, Ron? Just a little tooth pain. I'm fine. Continue. Ron has done some shocking things over the years, but just when we thought we had a full grasp of his eccentricities, he went and pulled this move. During a run-of-the-mill meeting, Ron casually references his toothache. Uh, do you need to go to the dentist, Ron? I don't like dentists. Out of the blue, he takes a pair of pliers and rips the tooth out of his mouth. No, 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 Ron then reveals to the audience that his dentist actually pulled the tooth yesterday, but he wanted to convince his co-workers that he could endure great pain. Dentist pulled the tooth out yesterday, but it's always a good idea to demonstrate to your co-workers that you are capable of withstanding a tremendous amount of pain. Seeing Tom pass out, just an added bonus. Number two, Ron barbecues. When Ron Swanson is put in charge of a barbecue, things get a little weird. There will be no froofy desserts. There will be no giant soap bubble guns. There will be no adult men in costumes. And most of all, there will be no vegetables. The Parks Department is beyond stunned when Ron arrives with a live pig. Hey, little guy, what are you doing? Oh, no. Everyone, meet your meat. No. 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 On top of that, the pig is named Tom. I understand that it's hilarious, but that is his given Christian name. This is one of the few moments in the series where we actually see Ron express genuine excitement. Sadly, for him, he's the only one. Unsurprisingly enough, everyone else is horrified by the plans to slaughter the pig, especially the kids. Even though Ron has a quote-unquote permit that allows him to do whatever he wants, a ranger asserts that this is against the law. Way to ruin a perfectly good barbecue. Hey, Ron, you're not gonna slaughter that pig here, are you? Not to worry. I have a permit. This just says I can do what I want. I am the director of the parks department, and this is a park. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Is this everybody? Excuse me. There's a sign at Rampsit Park that says, do not drink the sprinkler water. So I made sun tea with it, and now I have an infection. Sir? 
Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. Number one, all the bacon and eggs. On a trip to Indianapolis, Ron is met with one disappointment after another. First, he learns that his favorite restaurant has been shut down. They just boarded her up like she was some common warehouse. I should have been here. Then, as an alternative, Chris serves him a vegetarian meal. Finally, Ron goes to a diner where he gets a poor excuse for a steak. There's only one thing that can salvage the night. All the bacon and eggs the diner has. Just give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Ron further clarifies that he doesn't just want a lot of bacon and eggs, but literally all the bacon and eggs. Wait, wait. I worry what you just heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you understand? In addition to being arguably Ron Swanson's most quotable line of dialogue, it reminds us why we love Ron. He's a man of big appetites, but simple pleasures. I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.